Well, another blockbuster film is coming to Rhode Island. A state committee approved a deal this morning to allow 20th Century Studios to rent out the Cranston Street Armory for its romantic drama. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live in studio now with a look at the economic boom it's expected to bring to the state. Alex. Well, Kayla, the multi-million dollar movie will be entirely filmed in Rhode Island, and it's expected to bring in money, jobs, and even a potential upgrade on the Cranston Street Armory itself. An abandoned building will be the center of the next economic boom in Rhode Island, as it will be transformed into a movie set. People in the area hopeful about what it will bring to the area. Hopefully, you know, they keep it local and um, hire local for, you know, all the miscellaneous task or what have you. The movie is expected to bring over 200 full-time jobs. That doesn't include the actors, that doesn't include the extras, that doesn't include the amount of money spent on vendors, etc. 20th Century Studios will be receiving an undisclosed amount in tax credits because it is spending more than $100,000 for the film. However, Executive Director of the Rhode Island Film and Television Office Stephen Feinberg says it will also benefit the entire community as a whole. For every $1 we give in a tax credit returns $5.44 of economic activity and that's just the production alone. Not to mention the potential improvements the studio could make on the building. Back in the day, the, the place was in very, very poor shape, but now it's improved dramatically. But those are um, investments that were made with the Rhode Island film community. Everything, like I said, from lead abatement, mold uh, uh, removal, uh, to sprinkler systems, security systems. Um, there's been a lot of improvements in that building since I arrived in 2004, 2005. It was a, quite a different building. 20th Century Studios will start renting out the armory this December. However, when filming starts, still up in the air as the actor strike is still ongoing. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. Well, the building that served as a homeless shelter last winter will apparently be a movie set this winter. We first reported on the proposal for Providence's Cranston Street Armory last week. Now, state officials have signed off on the plan. 12 News reporter Alex Torres, Alex Torres Perez talked to the head of Rhode Island's film and TV office today, who says there's still a lot of work to do before those cameras are rolling. Alex. Well, Mike, Kayla, this morning, the State Properties Committee unanimously approved a deal to allow 20th Century Studio to basically just rent out the Cranston Street Armory. However, because of the ongoing actor strike, when filming will officially start is still up in the air. With windows boarded up and the front gate locked, the Cranston Street Armory is currently abandoned, which is why people in the neighborhood are excited to hear it's getting a new life as a movie set. I think it's really cool. I think it's it's nice to see this space finally get some use. It's just been sitting here abandoned for so long to see it used as a movie set. I think that's pretty exciting. From December through May, 20th Century Studios will pay $10,000 a month plus utilities to use the historic building for its new romantic drama called Ella McKay. However, if the actor strike is still ongoing at that time, the studio will pay less to rent out the building as it tries to work out details for the film. They were negotiating with the talent before the strike and then the strike happened so that certain deals have not been completed yet. So I can't give any more details. Executive Director of the Rhode Island Film and Television Office Stephen Feinberg says big names are expected to be a part of the film. That includes Academy Award winning director and producer James L. Brooks. Who did Terms of Endearment, As Good As It Gets, Broadcast News. He executive produces The Simpsons. He did The Mary Tyler Moore Show and Taxi. And he is 83 years old and spry. Though the cast has not been revealed yet, community members say they'll be keeping a close eye. We're definitely going to be down here trying to do some people spotting. <laughs> Look out for celebrities. And that multi-million dollar movie will be entirely filmed here in Rhode Island. It is expected to bring an economic boom in revenue to the state, as well as hundreds of jobs and even a possible upgrade for the Cranston Street Armory itself. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.